We've seen so much of uh, fresh effluent being released from uh, houses, being released from factories, heading direct to Ad River and uh, rolling down the river. From where we are standing is behind the EPZ and uh, the sewer line is just broken. And we have a canal which has been built by, I think, uh, the county government of Machakos to help in draining water in this area. So the sewer is flowing direct to the canal. It is not treated. We have uh, companies dealing with chemicals from inside there. We have human beings from inside there who are using toilets. And all this sewer is going downward, is uh, flowing downwards to the river Hathi. And that means the same water is being used downstream all the way to Makuwene and Idwake Dam. Uh, we've tried to interview and listen to officers who are in charge of this. Uh, I have the NEMA officers from Nairobi and also from uh, Machiakos County. We have uh, the Mavoko Water Company officers, water and uh, sewerage. Uh, the CEO is here with us. But with all that, this is very hazardous and this is uh, basically killing people directly. When you emit, let's say a company is dealing with chemicals and you emit just that fresh chemicals waste to the tunnel and the tunnel is flowing all the way to River Hathi. So human beings downstream are taking that water. Some of the chemicals, we have done tests from several points along River Hathi all the way to Dwake Dam. We've done chemical, uh, chemical tests as a, as, a, as a committee. And uh, all these areas, we found the water having carcinogenous uh, elements in it. And this shows some companies which are dealing with the chemicals are emitting the chemicals directly to the river, as we can see behind us. We can't say EPZD is wrong, no. There is someone in EPZD who never did his job, who has done some omission, and that person is uh, guilty of an offence. So we've just invited the OCS. I would uh, want these fellows arrested, the CEO, Mavoko Water, the person in charge of uh, sewerage who never reported to the CEO, CEO EPZD about what is happening here. Those are people who should be in the committee. They should not be with us here. Because that is purely attempted murder and murder. Because within the people who will take this water, within another three, four months, they will be lying in beds, sick of cancer. So the Mavoko Water CEO, within another three, four months, will be guilty of murder. He will, be, he will have killed people in Wala. The person in charge of environment in EPZD would have killed people in Mwala, would have killed people in Matala, and that cannot be allowed. So my take is uh, as we look forward to doing a comprehensive report so that this, the problem can be solved, I would also want the people in charge not, uh, should not be allowed to enjoy being in office, whereby they've done omissions which have the come up with the, what we can call attempted murder. And uh, I'm waiting for the OCS to get these people behind the bus. We meet in court tomorrow so that we can get justice to our people. And also the others who are in the same category can learn what needs to be done. At least we actually want to answer to Kinyamaza.
nimeambiwa director general wa Nema ako out of the country. Nema wamezembea. Na director general mwenyewe angekuwa amekuja kukataza hawa license ama ameenforce hii maneno lakini hajafanya anything. Tumeuliza the county director, the county director has been writing letters with no response from uh, the companies na pia from uh, our ma officer wako juu. Kwa hivyo pia tutaweka mashtaka kwa director general wanema pia yeye mwenyewe as bebe msalaba wake wa kukataa kufanya kazi na kwa sababu kukataa kufanya kazi kwake si kuharibu kazi ni kuua watu asitakiwe na majaribio ya kuua watu na kwa sababu najua baada ya miezi sita hii takataka itakuwa imekuwa kansa na itaua watu kwa hivyo hiyo makesi itaanza kama kujaribu kuua na miezi sita ikiisha mtu akikufa na kansa chini huko mwala tunasema hii ndili muua kwa hivyo makosa ina graduate to mother ndio watu wasome na waachane na upuzi ya kuchisema so, uh, it's not about that uh, we have an issue with the gospel but what we are willing to do is that we will clean up this thing as uh, the CEO of Vasco has said. We will provide the resource that uh, is required to clean it up. And in the long run, we will see that uh, all these factories will be able to work and uh, let itself uh, team the land or so. So we will work closely with Vasco just to have uh, this river clean so that to not affect the human life. And uh, the, on behalf of the export Zone Authority, we will try to see all our companies what they have to be deciding to the sea uh, It has to be clean at the top of the spot before it is. And we will see where now Mabosco come in and also have the line so that we will know at any junction who are uh, going to put uh, what and who are going to what so that we will have a proper clean system for the sea And uh, we will even try to have another sea line that is uh, uh, clean and clear to uh, human consumption. In the midterm, thanking you for working with the situation that you have. We will ask to ask you, I will see you. Because we haven't seen the little that you are doing when a problem like this. We may want to give you an opportunity. First of all, I must thank those I want to give you an opportunity, having understood, and since the public is sovereign and they have asked us to come here and find out how they can be saved from this effluent that is, these chemicals, dangerous chemicals with heavy metal, you will take time and read all this that is ahead. You will discover that there is a lot of uh, health hazard question around what is going on here and it's not only here it is all over these officers will tell you we started at 8 in the morning and that this committee is taking this matter and the consequences that are going to be applied after we so for everyone who was